Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good, good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Raul. How are you? I'm excellent. Great. That's great. Hello, Fabiola. How are you? Let's see. Let me see how many do we have in here. Hmm. Hello, Florence. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm excited for today's class, everyone. <laughs> Fatima Karina, how are you, Fatima? Yeah. Thanks. Fine, teacher. Great. Very good. Welcome. Let's see, Armando Antonio, how are you? Uh -huh. I'm checking everyone's audio. Let's see, Heidi Vasquez, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Heidi? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. I think most of you are not right now. I mean, they are connected, but you're not. <laughs> because we are missing two minutes. Maybe that's the reason. You're growing your coffee. Mm. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Florence. Uh, we will have class next Monday. Yes, honey. Yes. Okay. Yes, we're going to have classes. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? A ver, cuéntenme. Don't be shy. Let's see. Mal. Ay, 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 Rene, what happened? Why? En español se lo voy a decir. Hey. En la 2.11 estoy intentando escuchar los audios y no los entiendo. Rene, usted, usted es el que me escribió ahora en la tarde, ¿no? No. No, ¿verdad? No. Ah, no, ese fue otro compañero. Sí, es que <ríe> ya lo veo. You have to read the instructions correctly. 2.11. In las instructions, it says, let me share. I'm going to share. Well, first, let me look for the exercise. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. So, before giving you an answer on it, let me introduce the class. So, welcome everyone to, to today's class. It's a pleasure to have you in here. And before starting with the right content, I need to show you something from that exercise that someone was asking me for. Let me see, I'm going to share my screen. And yes, here you have it, sure. Now listen everyone, in here, look at the instructions. It says, write numbers in letters. Letters, no numbers, okay, Rene? So were you, were you writing letters or numbers, Rene? Numbers. Uh-huh, that, that's the mistake. You have to write, look at this one, number three. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> in number three, you have, he gets home at 11, okay? 
So you need to write or you need to complete the exercise with letters, okay? And this is for everyone. Please always try to pay attention to the instructions. I know it's sometimes hard because we are in a hurry. I know I understand that you work until very late maybe. So that's why I'm telling you, take your time, calm down, check your exercises and read the instructions as much as you can. Because I don't know why, but humans are in this way, right? All of us, we are in this way, like sometimes we are so in a hurry that we don't read correctly. So let's try to be relaxed and let's, let's complete those exercises, okay? So let's go with today's class. So as always, everyone, it's a pleasure to have you. Let's see, let me talk to some of you because some of you didn't answer my question before. Let's see, Fatima, Karina, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. Let's see, Fatima Rivas, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, and you? I'm great. Thank you so much for great. asking me. Let's see, Fabiola, how are you, Fabiola? How are you, Tisha? I'm fine. You? I'm, I'm great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Let's see. We have Claudia Maria Viles. How are you? Tell me. Hi, Tisha. And you? I'm great. I'm excited for today's class. We have new content. We have a new section also, right? Very good, Claudia. Hello, Rafael. How are you? How was your day? Hello, good. And you? It was great. My day was great. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thanks for asking. And I'm, I'm good too. Thank you. Let's see. Jessica Elizabeth, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Hey, everyone. So most of you work outside of your house, I imagine, right? So how was the traffic? Tell me. Tell me, Dajan. How was the traffic today? Hi, teacher. Um, the traffic. I don't know. Uh, you didn't go out. <laughs> ah, okay, excellent. That's good. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, so I imagine that maybe because it's Tuesday, so the traffic might be not so like crowded, right? So let's pray for the ones that are coming right now to the class. Let's see. Cesar, hello, how are you? Fun, thanks, miss. Hello, classmates. Excellent, very good, very good. Hello, Noemi, how was your day? Hi, miss. Uh -huh. My day was a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. I worked a new program for a customer. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you, honey. I totally understand you. Very good. Let's see, Patricia, how are you? Um, I I am um I feel tired, um, but I feel great. <laughs> Very good. That's the attitude, that's the rhythm for today's class. Very good. Walter, welcome, Walter. How are you? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. That's great. Excellent. Let's see. Let me see who else do I have in here. Ada Gabriela, welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Great. Great. Yes, that's the attitude. Very good. Let me see. Jocelyn Rodriguez, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Jocelyn? Um, I am fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. Herson, welcome to today's class. How are you? Hey, teacher. Um, I'm fine, but I drive into my house. Mm, so you're tired, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, but yeah. it's good that you're in class. Excellent. Very good job. Let me see. 
Luis Antonio, hello there, how are you? Me also, teacher. Yes, you, Luis. <laughs> how um, are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. Are you ready for today's class? Yes. yes. Teacher. Excellent, very really good. Okay, everyone, so I think I have talked to most of you, so it's a pleasure to know how are you, and I hope you're safe and sound as per usual. So let's start the class. So as I told you before, we have a new section, how do you spend your day? We are in class number four, and today is Tuesday, July 20, 2021. So let's see. I don't know if you remember, my dear students, but yesterday we saw this topic. It was WH questions structure. So let's see. Rafael, tell me the WH questions structure, please. W, w H word plus B A M is a, I'm is R subject plus complement. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now listen, if you didn't copy this is for everyone. So if you didn't copy this structure yesterday, that I hope you did. <laughs> okay, so if you didn't copy it yesterday, you can copy it today. There you have it, that's the structure. Please keep it in mind because yesterday we had a homework, right? So I hope you have your sentence for today's class. But first, let's move on. Let's see. So we have these WH words and we have their, their use, we can say it that way. Let's see. Let's start with Ada Gabriela, who? Tell me the information of who. Ada Gabriela, are you there? Okay, let's see, Jocelyn Rodriguez, tell me the information of who, please. Where are you, everyone? Are you having coffee or something? Are you drinking coffee or something? Uh-huh. So have your camera open, please. I need to see you. I need to see if you are the ones who are there, right? Let's see, Fabiola, please help me with who? Uh, okay. Excellent, very good. Florence, what? Asking about a thing or idea. Very good, that's the use. When you want to ask something about a thing or an idea. Let's see, Diane, when? Asking about time. Very good, Walter, where? Asking, asking about a place. Very good. Farima, Karina, why? Asking about a reason. Mm -hmm. Great. Herson, how? Asking about a way of doing something. Excellent. There you have it. Please don't forget these uses. And I hope you have them in your sentences. So it's your time now. It's your time to shine. <laughs> Let's see, so we have instructions. Number one, work individually, as I hope you did. Number two, create big questions using WH words or WH word, okay? So let's see, let's go in order. Let's just start with, mm -hmm. Rene Samuel, okay? La pregunta con asking. One question using WH words. When? Uh -huh. 
asking when about the weather. Uh -huh. Asking about, are you reading or are you typing? Perdón, no entendí. I need you to create one sentence, René. One question, sir. Tiene que crear una pregunta utilizando WH word. At the beginning, look at the structure. Todos veamos la estructura. So the WH word, it goes at the beginning, right? And then we have B, entre paréntesis, am, is, are. And then you have your subject. Let's remember, Herson, tell me the subject pronouns. Repeat the question, please. Tell me the subject pronouns, please. Okay, subject pronoun is, uh, it is, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, is is going to be there. Yeah. Um, mm, so just pronouns. Is I, uh, I, you, I, you, they, we, uh, uh, she, he, and it. Excellent. Very good. Very good, there you have them. <laughs> so those are the subject pronouns. Uh -huh, Hanson, you have been practicing, very good. Okay, don't forget everyone, subject pronouns are used in every sentence. So you have to make sure to remember that, okay? Let's see, and then we have the complement. So your job or your work is to create one question using a WH word, okay? Let me see, raise your virtual hand the ones that already create their sentence. Los que ya crearon su oración, raise your virtual hand. Okay, Florence, very good. Somebody else? Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. very good, excellent, yes, yes. Very good, yay! Oh my gosh, very good students, by the way. That's great. Okay, now let's start with Claudia Maria Aviles. Tell me your sentence. Um, when is the party? Repeat again, please. When is the party? When is the party? Excellent, Claudia Maria, very good. Let's go, Andrea Sosa, tell me your sentence. Who is your best friend? Who's your best friend? Very good, Andrea. Excellent. Mm, Florence. Where is my computer? Where is my computer? Very good question, Florence. Excellent. Uh, the ones that are already participating, you can you can go with your hand. No, please. <laughs> Ok, pueden bajar su manita virtual los que ya participaron. Very good. Let's see, let's check. Uh -huh. Fátima Karina Rodríguez, tell me yours. How are you today? Uh -huh. Very good. I'm great, thank you. <laughs> Fátima Karina. What about Rafael? Tell me your question. Who is that person? When are we going to the party? Excellent, very good. Two, two, excellent. Rafael, excellent, very good. Good questions. Let's see, Milagro, Mira, tell me yours. Hello, teacher. Hello. Where are you live? Where are you live? Ajá, ¿qué me quiere decir con esa pregunta? ¿Dónde vive? Where do you live? Where do you live? Ahora vamos a ver el uso del do también. No se preocupe, ya lo vamos a ver. Eso está en okay. la section 2 y hoy lo vamos a ver. Eh, quiero explicárselo, explicárselo. ¿Ok? Don't worry, Milagro. Very okay. good. Ok. 
Let's see, Diane. What are you cooking? What are you cooking? Excellent. Very really good. Fabiola Guidos. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Excellent. Good question. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if I have somebody else. Hey, the ones that didn't raise their hand, you should be working on your on your question, okay? This is not time to rest. Let's see. Okay. Let me see who else. Yeah. Yeah. Jocelyn Rodriguez, question. your sentence. Your question, sorry. Where my bow? Repeat again, Jocelyn, sorry. Where my bow? Where is my bow? Okay, don't forget the verb to be. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Sarseño Raúl. What is your name? What is your name? Okay, great, excellent. Let me see. Rene Samuel. Hi. Hi. No sé si está correcto. When will summer begin? Uh -huh. When will summer begin? Yeah, it's good. Excellent, thank you. Let me see. Ah, but uh, René, yeah, your sentence is good. Su oración sí está bien, your sentence is great. But you're not using simple present. And I need you to use are, am, um, or is, okay? Eso es lo que pasa con la oración, René. Gramaticalmente su oración está muy bien en el futuro. Pero como ahorita estamos en el simple present, entonces tenemos que utilizar WH word plus B, o sea, el verbo to be, plus subject plus complement. ¿Ok? Keep an eye on that. Ok. Excelente. Let me see Gerson Amaya. Hello. Hello there. My question is, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. You're using verb to be excellent. Let me see. Um, Crisia Muñoz. Um, where did you grow up? Excellent. Very good. Okay, now listen, you're using past. Where did you grow up? Uh -huh. oh, right now we are who using. Do you, who do you live with? Who do you live with? Don't worry, it's okay. Your sentence is okay. Don't worry. It's mm -hmm. just a structure. Let's see, Mauricio Morales. Yes. Uh, who's your girlfriend? Who's your girlfriend? Excellent. Very good. I need to get the microphone open. Cesar, sorry, Cesar, I didn't see you. Tell me. My quick question is why is the sky blue? The sky, the sky blue. Yeah, it's good. I don't know. No, your sentence is good. Yo solo estaba aclarando. I don't know who's, who's the one who has a dog. <laughs> there you go. Por eso le preguntaba rectificando. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Cesar. Let's see, Luis Alonso. Uh, where is my t-shirt? Mm -hmm. Where's my t-shirt? Excellent, very good. 
Okay, let me check if you're missing somebody to participate in here. Mm -hmm. Jessica, Elizabeth, please. When is at home? When is, repeat again, please. When is at home? When are you in casa? Ah, when are you? When are you at home? Oh, when are you arriving? Arriving home. Okay, you can use either or. Very good. Let me see. Am I missing somebody? Um, let me see. Karina Jimenez. Girl, I'm missing you. Tell me your question. What is your favorite food? Mm -hmm. Great, very good. Excellent. Let me see, let me check somebody else. Hmm. Armando Antonio. Hello. Hello. Correct. Who is he? Who is him? Excellent, very good. Let me see, Heidi. Heidi Vasquez, please. Hello, teacher. My question is, what is my mom in my mom is, is in supermarket? Mm -hmm. Excellent, where is my mom? Excellent, very good, Heidi. Let me see, am I missing somebody else? No, very good. Excellent. So, so everyone, you work pretty well on your sentences. That's great. So do you have any question or doubt about WH questions? You can tell me, Miss, I have a question or Miss, ah, Claudia, huh? Claudia Cuella? Ah, Claudia Cuella, you haven't passed. Tell me your, sent your question, please. When is your birthday? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. That's great, very good. Diane, yes, do you have a question? How do you say signo de interrogación in English? Um, question mark. Okay, question mark. That's how you say it. Thank you. Okay. Very good, there you go. Now, everyone, if you don't have questions about anything else, we can move on, okay? Now, listen, this is from the last part of the, of the section number one. So I need to check your rating, okay? Let's see how are your skills or your skill or your reading skill, okay? Let's check. I have your name thing here. So I'm going to ask some of you to read this whole text for me. Now the topic is what's in a name. So please, Karina Jimenez, read the red chart, only the red part. Red? Ah, where it says, look at the names, the red ah. chart. Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Excellent, very good, good pronunciation. Let's have Milagro, please. Read the first part of it. Todos vayan siguiendo la lectura porque no saben cuándo les va a tocar. <laughs> okay, let's see Milagro. You start. Milagro, there you are. It's your turn. Maybe you have problems with the internet. Let's start with Rafael. Rafael, can you please start? Your name. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you prob probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identify. Right okay. now, 
You can stop there. Very good. Excellent. Repeat after me, Rafael. Identity. Identity. Excellent. Very good. Three times. Identity. Identity. Excellent. Very good. So let's see. Continue, Cesar. The second, second. part. Of right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. What are these names popular? And why are some names you popular? Excellent, very good. Repeat after me, unpopular. Unpopular. Three times. Unpopular, unpopular, unpopular. Excellent, very good, there you have it. Continue, Patricia, please. Uh, names can become popular because of, of famous actors, TV or book, characters or athletes. Popular names suggest, suggest very positive things. Um, popular names suggest negative things. So, right single, uh, people general, generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opini opinions about names from a recent subject. Excellent, very good. It was a long one, very good. Repeat after me. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. So, surprisingly, surprisingly. Okay, surprisingly. Excellent, very good. Let's go with another one, recent. Recent, recent, recent. Very good, excellent. So there you have it. Thank you, Patricia. Let's have, mm, let me see, Fatima Karina. Start again, please. Your name. Okay. Your name is very important. When you think yourself of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Identify. Okay, excellent. Repeat after me. Identity. Identity. Three times. Identity. 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 Very good. Excellent. Continue, Florence. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Excellent, thank you. Let's see, let's continue, Walter. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or popular names to choose best positive things. And popular names suggest negative things. Super single people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about name from a recent survey. Excellent. Very good. Repeat after me, my friend. Let's see. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Three times. Surprising. Surprisingly. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let me see, I need to check somebody else. Cristian Muñoz, start again, please. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Identity. <laughs> identity. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Let's see. Luis Alonso, your turn. 
Uh, right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jaco for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular? Very good, great. Let's see, Mauricio, continue. Names can become popular because of famous actor, TV or books, characters, or athlete, athletic, or athletics. Popular names suggest very positive things. Popular names suggest negative things. Uh, surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinion about names from a recent sur survey. Very good, thank you. Repeat after me. Characters. Characters. Three times. Characters. Characters. Excellent, repeat again. Athletes. Excuse me? Athletes. At least. Athletes. Athletes. Uh, at least. Mm -hmm. at, at least, at least. Mm -hmm. At least, very good. There you have it. So let's go to the next one, everyone, let's see. So we have the names, we have boys' names. For example, we have George, which means like he's in average or boring. And then we have Jacob, creative, friendly, then Michael, good looking, athletic, stylish, nerdy, and serious. Then we have girls' names, Betty. Hmm, Betty, it's a, I have never heard that name here in El Salvador, Betty. Okay, so we have old fashioned average, then we have Emily, independent, Adventurous. Then we have Jane, plain, ordinary. And last but not least, we have Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. Now, you already heard my pronunciation. Let's get yours. Fatima Rivas, tell me the boys' names, please. The boys' names. Mm -hmm. George, average, boring. Jacob created friendly, Michael good looking athletic, Stanley nerdy serious. Excellent, very really good pronunciation. Karina Jimenez, please help me with girls' names. Very old fashioned, average, Emily independent, adventures, Jane plain. Ordinary, Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Very good, thank you. Noemi, help me with boys' names, please. George, average, boring. Jacob, creative, friendly. Michael, good-looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, and serious. Excellent, very good. Milagro Mira, please, help me with girls' names. Open your microphone, Milagrito. Very old fashion. I a very good. Emily, independent, average, mm -hmm. average. Emily, independent, and adventures. Jay, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Milagro. Let's see, Walter, tell me the boys' names. Boys' names, George, Average, Boring, Jacob, Creedy, Friendly, Michael, Good-Looking, Athletic, 
Stanley Nerdy Serious. Serious. Repeat after me. Serious. 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 Very good. Thank you. Let's see Heidi. Girls' names. George, Avery, Boris. Cole, Latin, Friendly. Michael, Good Looking, Athletic. Stanley, Nerdy, Serious. Okay, repeat after me, Heidi. Serious. Serious. Three times. Serious, serious, serious. Excellent, very good. And let me see. I need somebody to read girls' names. Andrea, please help me. Girls' names? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, very old fashioned, aver average. Average? Uh -huh. Average. Emily, inde independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Excellent, very good. Thank you for your help. Good pronunciation. Now let's see, we have another paragraph. Please, let me get somebody in here. Okay, let's have Sarsenio Raul. Please read the paragraph. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member of course. Opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular. And the for tourists, that's that's good news for and the Georges and Betty's out there. <laughs> funny, funny, funny story. <laughs> Excellent, very good, Sarsenio. Repeat after me. Of course. Of course. Three times. Of course. Of course. Of course. Okay, of course. Don't forget to pronounce, of course. Let's see, future, repeat after me, future. Future. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Okay, now let's get just one more person to read this. Claudia Cuellar, please. Read the whole paragraph. Uh, the, the paragraph? Mm -hmm. The paragraph, please. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradi tradi tradition. Many people are name naming after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for the Georges and Betty's of dear. Very excellent. There you have it. Very good. Now, listen, everyone. I want everyone's opinion in here. So what are the most common names that we have in El Salvador for girls and boys? Mm -hmm. Maria. Carlos. Carlos. Uh -huh. Maria. Mari, it's Jen. Mauricio. Anna. Karen. Anna. Karen. Carla. Uh-huh. Carla. But Mauricio, I don't think it's not that popular. I'm sorry, Mauricio. Anna. <laughs> but the name. Jose. Uh -huh. Jose, it's true. Anna, Jose. Uh -huh. Carlos. So there you have it. It's Anna. the same. Anna, exactly. Fe okay. Thank Juan you, guys. Fevi. Juan. <laughs> Fe Fe that's, not, that's not popular. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend, that's not popular. <laughs> Let's see, so listen, everyone. So it's the same thing in the United States, right? They have popular names for girls and for boys. And also they have the meaning of each name, which is weird because if you ask to yourself, maybe we don't know the real meaning of our name, right? 
maybe we haven't investigated yet. So there you have it. That's extra information that you have. Please practice your reading. Right now, it's wonderful. It's excellent. Very good. Continue practicing. That's the key to learn English. That's the key. Practice as much as you can. And talking about practicing, please practice on your platform. Ya vi que algunos no están practicando en la plataforma y tienen que avanzar. Recuerden, tienen que avanzar lo más que puedan. Okay? If you want to get your certificate at the end of the course, you need to practice. So we have this conversation. I'm sure that if you are in section two, you already see, uh, you already saw this conversation. So let's practice now, we are speaking. Diane, you are Andrea and Rafael, you're Jason. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas to travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Um, and yeah, I take uh, people on tours so countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it is a great job. I really love it. And um, what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Very good, guys. Let's see, Diane. Repeat after me. Guide. Guide. Guide, guide, guide. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Let's go with Fatima Rivas. Fatima Rivas. And Sarsenio Raul. So, Fatima, you are Andreita. And Sarsenio is going to be Jason. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South Africa, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Uh, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? I have a food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent, very good. Great pronunciation, great job. Let's see, Raul Cerceño, repeat after me, Heaven. Heaven. Three times. Heaven, Heaven, Heaven. Excellent, wonderful, thank you. Now, Patricia. Patricia and Herson, please. So Patricia, you are Andrea and Herson is Jason. Action. Where, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Um, I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Very good, guys. Excellent. Now let's get Mauricio. Mauricio and let me look for a... Ah, Noemi, please. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. 
Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent, very good. Good job. Let's go with Cesar and Milagro, please. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Food Travel. Oh, really? What do you do, three? I am I and you I take people on tours to country in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent, very good job. Let's see me later, repeat after me, guide. Guide, guide, guide. Excellent, very good. Cesar, interesting. Guide. Interesting. 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 Repeat after me, Cesar. There. 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 Excellent. Very good. Bravo. Now let's get the last pair in here. Claudia, so, Lila, you have to close your microphone. <laughs> let's see. Let me check. Okay, let's get the last pair. Let's see, Claudia Cuellar and Walter. Mami. Sí, silencio. Mama. Llévalo donde pase. Action. Walter, your microphone. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a kid. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How history? Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job, too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Hidden. Excellent, very good, thank you. Claudia, repeat after me, guide. Guide. Three times, guide. Guide, guide, guide. Excellent, very good. Walter, repeat after me, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Great job, everyone, thank you, okay? So now let's move on. We have simple present WH questions and statements. Okay, keep an eye on this, please. So we have this sent these questions, then we have statements, and we have a really interesting part in here. Let's see. Luis Alonso, please read the first question. Uh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Uh, Let's see, Fabiola Guiros, give me the statement. Where do you work? No, the statement is, I'm a student. 
Ah, okay. Listen. I am a student and I have a part-time job. Very good. Thank you. Now let's see. Rafael, question number two, please. Where do you work? Andrea Sosa, this statement. I work at in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now listen, if you have at, and then you have another option with, which is in, you can use at or in. Either okay. or, cualquiera de las dos pueden utilizarla, okay? At or in. Let's go with, let me check somebody else. Armando Antonio, the third question. Where do you go to school? Very good, thank you. Cristian Muñoz, the statement. I go to the University of Texas. Excellent, very good. René Samuel, the question. What question? Number four. Where does Andrea work? Thank you. Where does Andrea work? Excellent. Let's see. Heidi Vasquez, the statement. She wore a Thomas Cook Chavez. Excellent. Don't forget, everyone. This part is really important. Listen to the verb. She works. She works. Uh -huh. Excellent. We have the S at the end of the word, so we need to use that S. She works. Okay, excellent. Very good, Heidi. Thank you. Continue, Herson. Question number five. So he's drinking coffee right now. Let's see. Walter, question number five, please. What does she do? Excellent. Thank you. Jocelyn Rodriguez, give me the statement. She loves. Well, teacher. Number five. The statement number five. What do, what do you a guy? Do? Recuerden que statements son declara, uh, declaraciones o declaraciones o respuestas en todo caso también. Okay? So in this case, Walter already asked the question. What's the answer to the question, Jocelyn? Okay. She's a gay. She stays. She stays. People on tour. Excellent. Repeat after me, Jocelyn. Takes. 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 Excellent. Now listen, everyone. In this part, you may have noticed that we have verbs with S, right? At the end. That pronunciation, we have. We need to make it, okay? We have to. She works. She takes. And then we have the last one. Let's see. I will have... Cesar, the last question, please. Oh, that's... She like it. Karina, the statement. She loves it. She loves it. Excellent. Very good. So there you have it. Interesting part is that we have some verbs that we that they have S at the end. Huh? How is this possible? Let's check the next information. Third person singular. Let's see. Fabiola, please read this information. Notice the change on the verbs. Notice the change on the verbs when talking in third person singular. Look at the example. Excellent. Very good. Claudia Maria, give me the verbs that are 
used with I and you. Work, take, study, eat, do, go, and help. Excellent, very good. So that's first person singular, right? Just one person. Then we have third person singular. Let's see. I will have Karina Jimenez give me the verbs in third person singular. Takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Excellent, very good. So did, do you notice the difference? So in this third person singular, we add S to the verb at the end. Don't forget, this is really important class, okay? So if you have third person, you cannot say she what? No, she works, okay? She teaches, he teaches, okay? There you have it. Try not to get confused with this and we have more information about this. It says, take notes. Karina Marisol, please read the information. When we ask any type of questions on simple present, we must use the auxiliary do and doesn't. Excellent, very good. I'm gonna make it like in another color for you. Okay, so there you have it. When we need to make a question using simple present, we must use the auxiliary verbs that we have, which are do and doesn't, okay? Copy this on your notebook if you don't have this information, please. This is important and I need you to have it on your book. Disculpe, podría retroceder a la diapositiva anterior. Okay, this one. Finish. Excellent, very good. Okay, for the ones that are copying this information, there you have it. Let me know when you're finished. Yes. Finish. Finish. Excellent, very good. One moment, please. Okay. Let's wait. very good so there you have it if tomorrow i ask you hey which are the auxiliaries that we use when doing questions in simple present aha florence which are the auxiliaries that we use do or does doesn't or doesn't excellent very good there you have it so let's see how is this possible? Well, do you have it in here? We use do when we have this subject pronouns. I, you, we, they. If we have does, which is in, here is in positive, okay? It's not in negative. In negative is doesn't and positive is does, okay? So the subjects are he, she, it. And this is the formula or the structure, if you will. So we have WH plus auxiliary do or does plus subject plus verb base form plus complement plus question mark. Okay? It's long, but it's easy. 
Okay, don't get complicated. It's pretty easy. So copy this on your notebook. I need you to have it, please. No question. Tell me your question. Do you have a question? Or did you say no question? Oh, only a position. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Remember that finish. Excellent. Very good. So, signo de interrogación decimos question mark. Okay? Question mark. So, there you have it, everyone. I hope you have this information on your notebooks. Because guess what? Guess what, my students? Yes. You are going to create one question using that structure. But don't worry, it won't be for today's class. It's going to be for tomorrow's class. Okay, we're going to start the class with this. It says, read the instructions. The instructions. Nene, please. Rene, read the instructions, please. Okay, instructions, one. Works in individually to create one question using do or don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Excellent. Very good. So there you have a uh, example. Okay. What do you do on your free time? Okay. So there you have it. This is my example. <laughs> it's pretty simple. So make sure to not complicate yourself. And that was it pretty much for today's class, everyone. Don't forget to bring your question for tomorrow to the class, okay? So we'll see you. Teacher. Thank yes? you. I have a question. Uh, is what do you do on your free time? Uh -huh. Esa es mi example. Esa es mi ejemplo. Left do. What do you do, teacher? Or what do you uh -huh. do? Oh. What ah, do yeah. you do? What do you do? Yes, you're right. Thank you. Yo les digo cuando olvido mis lentes. <laughs> Thank you. Very good, Florence. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Sure, well, your question. Uh, we, we have classes in the first week of August. <gasps> I couldn't hear you that well. Can you repeat that again, please? We we have classes in the first week of August. Uh, no, I think you're going to have vacation. Of course, you're going to have vacation. But let me okay. let me check my notes. I think I have it in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm, yeah. Let me look for it. Sí, creo que van del 2 al 6 de agosto, creo. Según lo tengo escrito aquí. Pero le voy a averiguar bien y le voy a escribir en el chat, ¿ok? Pero sí van a tener vacation, don't worry. Thank you. Ok, Thank you. see you. In Spanish. <laughs> no, in English. See you. Ok, bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See ya tomorrow. Exactly, very good.